hello good morning today we are going to talk about what is asynchronous primitives and uh, before going to that we'll talk about what is an asynchronous programming now if we talk about async programming then a simple thing comes into the mind that how we do our regular tasks for example if i want to do a laundry and if i want to make dinner then I'll just switch on the laundry machine. I'll put some clothes uh, in that and I'll turn on the timer and then the laundry machine will start its process till it completes. I'll not keep on waiting at that particular uh, laundry machine. I'll try. I'll pick up my another tasks. For example, I want to read some book. I want to cook dinner and um, anything else. So while waiting for my laundry machine to uh, complete the timer or complete the process I can finish my other tasks so this is generally the way how humans uh, work so this the, the way of uh, interleaving the tasks uh, in between the downtime and picking up uh, another task at that particular downtime and processing multiple tasks uh, in such way this way of uh, doing the task is called as uh, asynchronous programming now in programming uh, we can do similar kind of things for example we uh, if our program is an IO bound program if we are waiting for a file or some data from the file to be uh, read so 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 in, the, so in this case we are not uh, waiting for that particular file read operation to complete and uh, we'll move ahead and we'll do uh, the rest of the activities till our complete file is being read so in this way uh, we can do our programming also in an asynchronous manner and I'll tell you this saves a lot of time This really increases the productivity of our program if our program demands IO bound tasks in that case only uh, Asynchronous programming really makes some sense Because there is no point in wasting time uh, and waiting for an IO bound activity to complete and then move on to the different tasks. So uh, in in such cases asynchronous programming really helps to increase the throughput or to increase the um, um, performance of our program so today we are going to discuss about uh, asynchronous primitives in uh, rust so since we are talking about rust we are talking about tokyo now tokyo is a library which provides an asynchronous runtime uh, for our uh, pro programs so in order to get start um, in order to get started I'll just uh, take you through the agenda so today we are going to talk about uh, notify asynchronous primitive now what this notify is we will talk about that then we will write a simple program in rust to demonstrate the usage of uh, this particular notify primitive and then we will see how we can effectively use this particular notify struct in our asynchronous programming whenever we are doing it so talking about notify we'll talk about notification what is notification notification is nothing but sending us a message that a particular task has been arrived or a particular thing has been arrived or uh, we can just notify someone else that hey your parcel has been arrived or you got some messages like in our phone we got hundreds of notification daily about a particular message about particular update and so on so in uh, programming the case also or in this case also notify is a struct which helps us to notify one task to other task that a particular task has completed and this notification can be provided to different uh, multiple tasks or we can provide that to a single task also consider an example of um, ordering some package once we place the order the order gets processed the order gets shipped and then order gets delivered after the order gets delivered then we collect the order so the collection function or the collect the, the activity of collecting order has to be dependent or this uh, activity is dependent on um, delivering the order once uh, until the order is not being delivered we cannot collect it so th in this way we can use this notification uh, or notify synchronous primitive in order to synchronize our uh, tasks in a we can say in a way we are we are synchronizing our task so as they can be dependent on one after another now in this case 
this was example of one task notifying another task there is another example let's take an example uh, for example our uh, if we cook a dinner once the dinner is ready we notify the complete family that hey look the dinner is ready so in this case this is multiple not like one to many notification so both the things we can do with notify notify is nothing but a struct which provides us uh, two or three particular methods it provides a notify notified dot await notified dot await method waits for a permit to become available and so this will be called uh, on the task which is being waiting for a particular task to complete and notify one gets a permit if there are currently no available like notify one is the function used to notify that particular uh, task which is being kept awaiting similarly notify wait there is one more function which is uh, notify waiters yeah so if we go to this yeah notify waiters notify waiters is uh, the function is used when you want to modify notify more than one task that particular task has been completed and then you can begin your execution so we are going to demonstrate today about the notify one uh, synchronization primitive in an asynchronous programming so we'll start our code and first of all i'll take you through the cargo.toml file so in this we are just importing only one dependency that is tokyo version we are using 1.32 because i want some features latest features and now we'll start writing our code so first of all we'll pull uh, this thing notify struct from so in order to do that uh, we'll use use tokyo sync notify then we will use some uh, time also so uh, we want I, I just want to add some sleep in between so in order to do that uh, we will use uh, stt time and duration okay now i'll i'm i'm going to create two different functions one for um placing the order like the one we have discussed we'll take the same example our first async function will be async function place place order and our another function will be async function collect order okay and of course our main will be uh, tokyo main correct and this main function will again be async function main okay now uh, in the place order we are taking notify struct so i'll just use here uh, one argument which is uh, notify which is of type notify and this thing can be will be using arc so yeah we'll also be using arc arc or from where to import arc we do we have in tokyo no okay okay we need atomic uh, reference counter thing so we'll use use uh, std mm, rc arc 
okay so let's see from where we can find the arc arc in rust so arc is standard sync only but uh, we use std arc so we'll wrap this thing in arc because this thing will be passed to this function or both of the function so again this will be notify which is of type atomically reference counted notify struct so here uh, our tasks will be simple will be um, search for item in warehouse then same thing we'll be doing uh, pack the item for the delivery then will be now this print statements are just uh, emulation or just uh, simulation for the things then finally we are ship the package ship the package okay and here we will be uh, okay finally this task will be uh, waiting so this will be notify dot await or notified dot await mm, here we are going to notify dot notify one and here we are going to notify dot notified dot await correct okay once we get the notification then we collect collect the shipment and that's all this is how we are going to synchronize both the asynchronous function and uh, we need to share the state or share the um, the notify struct also so now in the main task or in the main function we are going to use we are going to create the notify struct first of all notify notify object let's call it an object so will be notify new okay let atomic notify object is equals to arc new and uh, here we'll pass our notify object so this is how we have got our uh, arc or our notify struct wrapped in the arc that is an atomically reference count because we have here we are talking about um, multi-threading and we want to make sure that our code is thread safe so now let's spawn the task our first task is to uh, so how do we spawn the task this is how we spawn an asynchronous task let or uh, let's see let uh, handle one or let first handle is equals to tokyo spawn and here is my first task that is 
What is our first place order? Place order. Correct. Yeah, why this is throwing an error now? Now place order has to be sent a notification wrapped in an arc so we will send atomic notify object dot clone because we have to send it to our other function also. So let uh, my second handle is equals to the same thing Tokyo spawn. In this case our next uh, that is collect collect order and here we are going to send uh, again atomic notify object dot clone what happened okay clone and now we are just calling await on that. So first handle dot await dot unwrap or no need to do that then second handle dot await dot unwrap. So I think so now our both the tasks should be okay but uh, just need to add some wait time over here so sleep or how to do standard i don't know how where to add the sleep for this particular demonstration so we go back again we see Sleep and rest. So standard dot thread. Okay, using std sleep dot duration duration from seconds sleep for two seconds here copy and here also will sleep for two seconds before printing finally shipped ship the package and finally notifying and before collecting we'll just sleep here also for two seconds or maybe just one second to check Okay, so now I'll do cargo build release Okay, okay our program has compiled successfully We'll now do cargo run I should have done cargo run release. Search for item in warehouse, pack the item for the delivery, shift the item, and finally we have collected the shipment. So this is how we can use our notify synchronization primitive in an asynchronous uh, program. So whenever you want to synchronize between the two only two different tasks or multiple different tasks, we can use the notify struct. There are different um, synchronization primitive that I would like to talk about but we will talk about in different different or small small part in our next upcoming videos. So this was all about uh, the notify struct. Uh, you can leave your comments and you can leave your doubts um, in, the, in the comments and let me know how um, well you have understood this particular asynchronous primitive of uh, notify and if you have some uh, things to add on please do add or please do share in the comments so that I would uh, uh, I, I would not I would get some uh, extra knowledge from you guys also 
so till then thank you thanks for uh, watching the video and uh, happy learning